T-shirt Tuesday, and this is a cool one. Just a microphone with a 50 and the name Denny on it. And the thing about it is, anybody that walks around Kansas City with that will know exactly what it means and who it pertains to. If you don't, well, it's the guy right there uh, to the side of us, Denny Matthews, the Hall of Famer, joining us from the broadcast booth. Denny, what is it, uh, this can't be that big of an accomplishment, but what does it mean to know that all these people are going to be walking around Kansas City with the name Denny on their shirt? Well, that could be dangerous, but I thought it was an amazing likeness on the shirt. <laughs> I saw the uh, the one they did for Ryan and Hud, and that was a pretty amazing likeness, but uh, this one has, oh, it's just, I think it's one of the best I've ever seen. <laughs> so you really like the shirt. We're surprised you're not wearing it, Danny. You've worn a lot of different shirts over these 50 years, but no T-shirt for you tonight. How do you know it isn't underneath this? Yeah, there you uh, go. Uh, I thought I thought this was appropriate. You got the 50 mm -hmm. symbols, so, but I'll have one on. Don't worry. It's, uh, I think everybody Where's your guys? Well, we see a lot of people out on the concourse with your shirt on, so it's going to be very well represented. We were curious. We're thinking about how many games has Denny called over the years? And I say, I bet Denny's got a pretty good estimation on how many he has called. How about 7,216? Well, we Seven, thought between two, six four. and 7,000, so we were under. We were under. I, well, we thought somewhere between six and seven. Be, I mean, th there was a day not too long ago where you were probably doing 162 a year, right? Yeah, exactly. Now, are you counting spring training games, no. postseason games? you got to count those. Inter-squad yeah. games. No. I did a couple of those. But, um, no, that's a lot. That's a lot of games. A lot of foul balls. That's a, that's definitely a lot of games. Yeah, but spring training is, like, I mean, you're, that's not the same. Denny, you're making up stories about people you've never heard of before. Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't. Well, I would never do no, that. No, no, you would not. No, you would not. So, Denny, over all these years of broadcasting, games changed a lot. And I'm sure you've seen and some good and some bad. What are your thoughts on where the game is today? Well, you were a part of it because I think the way bullpens are used is really one of the biggest things and starters don't start and complete anymore and to me that's been one of the biggest changes how bullpens are used and the lefty lefty righty righty matchups and I think Bonnie that as I said you were right in the middle of that but uh, it wasn't unusual for you to get five six sometimes seven outs every time out of the bullpen right today you would have gotten three outs maybe one inning and that would have been it I want to know, uh, in, in talking about the game and your game as a broadcaster, I mean, here you were as a young guy starting out with a ma Major League Baseball team. There's no way that you knew you'd be doing this with this organization for 50 years. What do you know as a broadcaster now that, say, you didn't know in 1969 or in the 1970s? Well, I thought I had all the answers in 1969, and I had none of them. <laughs> and it was it was on-the-job training, believe me, and it was, it was wonderful to have Buddy Blattner was my my first partner and I got some wonderful advice from him one of the things he said that I've always remembered he said don't try to imitate me don't try to think you have to do the game the way you maybe had a broadcaster and back in your in your youth he said I want you to do the game the way you want to do it I want you to develop your own style your own habits and I thought that was pretty darn good advice all right, well, then the last question, I'm not actually going to ask the question because it seems like everybody's always ask, asking me, how much longer is Denny going to do this? And I said, I don't know, as long as he wants to do it. But wh what do you still enjoy about coming to what I think is the greatest job ever? Well, and I would agree with your statement. And my hope when I come to the ballpark is that both teams play well. If both teams play good, solid, quick baseball, hey, that's a great spectacle. So that's you can't really focus on how the team's doing good batter and different just take each game as it comes and hope for a real good game and those are fun to do and, and we're glad the rain hopefully is out of the way that, that ever hurts either right yeah we're good tonight good to go i'd love to hear that hey denny you know we love working around you every single day and uh, while it may not fall on the top of the list knowing that about us or the t-shirt uh, congratulations on everything and, and we're going to wear those very proud right with pride with a lot of pride a lot of pride around town well, you have to, and that's just a part of it. Thanks for taking part in the T-Shirt Tuesday. Appreciate it. And you've never looked better. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, not me. So, right, I mean, the, the likeness is incredible. Uh, the Hall of Famer, Denny Matthews, thanks for visiting with us. You bet, guys.